Hello pilots and ground crew. Uh, I've just started to do, well not a modification, a repair. And I thought I'm going to stop because this could happen to somebody else. And uh, they may not know what to do. I recently purchased the Fat Shark faceplate. Uh, I'll put some pictures up as I'm gabbing. And the one with, with a fan for the V2, I believe. Well, I don't own Fat Shark. I own the Sky Zone goggles. So I knew there'd be a little bit of messing about to get on there to fit. But that's beside the point. I got them on. And they worked great. A few times. And then the fan stopped working. So you think, oh, yeah. <laughs> Try not to swear, even though I did a lot of swearing, because I'd only uh, only about three times and it stopped working. Well, I stripped them all down, took all the wiring out, and I'll show you that in the video because I've actually started to do it. Like I say, I've stopped because I thought this might be helpful to uh, somebody else who has this problem. So I cut the cable off and uh, took, cut the cable off, took all the uh, the padding, the padding off. To get at the wiring, unscrewed it, took the base out and everything to get out the fan. And, and I got my multimeter, and no, there was, there was no power getting to the fan. And after very, very close inspection, the red live wire had a little crack in it, and it must have split the wire somehow. I've no idea how because it was working. And anyone who owns a pair know the wires are tucked away, they don't move. But somehow it had got split, so I've had to strip it down, replace all the wiring, and now she's working great. So what I'll do is, <clears throat> I'll show you basically how I stripped it down, and show you it working again, because I've connected up some new wiring. Took the old rubbish wire off, really thin rubbish wire, and got an old servo cable, took the red and black off that. And soldered them on and now she's working brilliantly okay then uh, cheers let's take a look at the bench and then pilots as you can see I've took the foam back off and I've took that uh, sticky double-sided stuff that you stick the foam on <laughs> and the wires run through here and to the fan here there's one screw undo the one screw and if I can find it the actual fan plate is on top there's four little screws on there and the fan you lift that off take the one screw out of there one screw out of there sorry glow on that side and the actual fan comes off now because of the wires it's tight so what I did was I straight away I knew I was going to replace the wires so I just cut the wires pulled it straight out the other end as you can see here this is just in uh, its little box fits in the little box there and if you delete I hope you can see that just fits in its little box there and it, it was just pushed against it with one screw holding it in with the wire running through and running through to the fan well the fan had some really bad wiring on as I said and somehow I don't know how as it's I'll use the red you might see better because the wiring runs through here and somehow maybe when I've connected the face plate to the actual goggles it's not that I've used any nails or screws or all, all I used was a bit of uh, hot glue and some tape. So <laughs> maybe the hot glue split the wire, I don't know, but that's what happened. So I'll just show you the wiring I've done now. The easiest way is to zoom right in on this, so I'll just cut and come back. All right, starting with a fan. Uh, I haven't got anything on that screwdriver might work but starting with a fan all it is is a lav and a ground that's all you have to do unsolder the old lav and ground the red and black and put in a new red and black like I say I used an old servo cable 
Now that's your fan part. Now on the other side, if it'll focus in for me, where the button is, which is upside down so you can't see where the solder is. There you go. On this side, I'll have to hold it, sorry, hope you can see. I'll just keep it still for a second to focus. On this side, on the far right as you look at it, the red wire goes and underneath, next to the button, is where the black solder's on. If you do it one at a time, you can't get mixed up. And basically, it's as simple as that. I'll uh, show you it not working, and then I'll show you it working. But uh, I went round, I checked with the old multimeter and everything, and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. I thought, why ain't the power going through? And that's when I realised there was a split in the wire. But it's as simple as that. It's not difficult, just take your time, wrong way, just take your time, and as I've said, I'll zoom in on here so you can see a bit better. Because I know I didn't last time, but yeah. The cabling, as I said, I'll be quick, the cabling just runs through that hole from where the button is, straight through here, goes through a hole there, and the fan's on top. If you own them, you know. And it's as simple as that. In fact, when you actually start taking them to pieces, you wonder why they're so expensive. Because it's a bit of plastic, which probably costs about five quid. And uh, a fan, as we know, right, they're about two quid. So we're getting ripped off. But at the same time, the works are great. I've taken the opportunity, while it's in bits, you see, I'm using the Sky Zone goggles. And as you, you'll know if you use these, the fan actually covers the button that you use for your contrast and brightness. So while it was in bits, I've took the opportunity just to uh, cut a piece out of there. And also, if I can... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Zoom back in again. Cut a piece out the top there. So now I can get out the button when I want to. Oops, this is bad videoing. Like I say, it's a job. I was halfway through and I thought I'll just show you just in case it ever happens to somebody else. Uh, because I've done this quick, if there's any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions I might have just skipped over doing this fast. Right, there she is then with a new wiring on and uh, not spinning. Now let's. Uh, Plug the lipo in, press the button and see what happens. Right, and uh, as you can see now, it's working. I hope you, it's hard to tell because that's that's actually spinning. So, I'm waiting for it to do its full uh, cycle before turning it off again. But that's all I've done, is took these... Well, I, I won't swear, but took these thin nasty little cables out which uh, well cracked for want of a better word and put a couple of uh, servo cables in and as you can see she's working great now just a quick jump shot bit that uh, I forgot to tell you all oh, the mistake I made you saw it on the board I'd soldered it all together but that was simply to test that it worked then you have to unsolder two of your wires to run them through the hole and then re-solder them back on again to the fan so that the wires are tucked behind. I forgot to mention that in case everyone just solders them together and thinks, huh? <laughs> okay then, uh, cheers. Sorry.